So as you probably saw at the beginning of this video, I did a little time lapse of the grinder ship that I built last time. But because I screwed up with the audio, there was no voice. So I thought, you know, it's probably not worth incorporating it in along with the other stuff. So wander back in here and I'll show you it. And then I was uh, going to uh, finish off the, uh, the detailing, the prettying of it, and then probably go out and use it. I mean, it is nighttime, so there's really not a whole lot going on out here. Except, you know, probably a couple, a couple threats that really aren't threats. There it is, in all of its glory. Uh, of course, another... Oh, jeez, this freaking one, those things. Another one of the reasons why I want to take my time, even though it's already built, um, is that the batteries still need to be recharged. Um, they're going to take a little bit of time to recharge. And if I look, that is the weirdest thing. Why are those automatically opening? Is it a feature now? That when you get into a cockpit, that all of a sudden the doors open? I mean, it's nice, but it's not nice. I am not too crazy about that, actually. <clears throat> so anyway, um, and I have to name all this stuff, too, um, because we know how that is. I'm looking for batteries. All right, so, oh, jeez. Come on, mouse, let's not scroll too fast. So yeah, we're looking at 10 hours real world to recharge. So, and then I get out of the cockpit and it closes. I'm not even, I'm not in the field either. Because if I was in the field, let's wait till it stops. I walk into the field, which is right here, then it opens. Which, I don't know. It's cool, but it's not. If there was a function for that, that would be really cool. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> and because the, the little hiccup is still, seems to be back, I don't know what it is that, you know, if you get too close to it, see that? I mean, there's no reason for it. And you look, the, the temp, the O2 and the temperature drops. So I don't know what's going on with that. So we'll just leave the helmet closed. But, as you can see um, from everything, there's four atmospheric thrusters as the primary means of um, hovering. There's uh, 12 hydrogen thrusters as kind of an auxiliary thing. Um, I've got, because uh, I'm going to probably be nose down more often than not, I have two large hydrogen uh, atmospheric thrusters for reverse thrust as opposed to six small or forward thrust. Um, got the lateral controls. There are six grinders. Uh, burp, burp, burp. Not 100% sure if I'm going to keep the hydrogen motor and the hydrogen or the oxygen hydrogen generator on here, but I did kind of put a block stuff there, so Maybe, possibly. Let's go up to the top here. Doo -doo. Oh, come on now. Down. Jeez. So I have... Why am I running around? Oh, okay. Fine. Um, so I have six uh, gyros here in the center. So I'm sure this is the first part that's going to explode. <laughs> and I had this all shaped nice and pretty because I had an oxygen tank up here. And of course, the large port, the 3x3 port, does not work well with three 1x1 ports. So, um, since I don't need an oxygen tank, because I have two air vents set to, on either side of the cockpit, set to uh, depressurize, they're going to constantly feed the cockpit. Um, Europa has a very... Um, 
low oxygenated atmosphere. I think that's the way I want to say it. So you can draw oxygen. That's how the vents in this this hangar working is there is another vent on the other side of it that's drawing in the oxygen. So anywho, um, anything spectacular about this? Um, I may want to paint it a little bit, but right now I'm just going to go with the dark color. Um, and uh, so I want to put on some lights because we know I like to do that. I like to put my little red and green lights on here, maybe some flashing warning lights and stuff. Uh, camera, remote control in the back here for docking there. And then I need to figure out a way to put on some landing gear, which may go right here instead of this fancy little block work. I might put something there. Uh, put like feet coming off of there. So, um, brr, 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 yep, I guess, I guess that's what's going to be. Um, I'm going to do some more work to this, even after the, uh, the assumed, um, uh, <laughs> my brain, sorry, my brain, the assumed time lapse that I would have put in at the beginning of this. Um, so, I'm going to grab some parts, and we will do that. Um, burp, burp, burp. Let's grab a couple hundred of those. <clears throat> and then maybe some of these and those, just in case. And... <clears throat> hmm. Now, I have that mod in here. Yes, I do. I have the Rebel mod. Rebel Lights mod, which means that the corner lights, the spotlights, and the interior lights are um, separated, which is kind of cool. So I'm thinking, hmm. Okay, so, doo -doo -doo -doo. but what if, Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> can, that, uh, can I put the... Oh, I, oh, I can. But, uh, it's... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I do, I do like that. I do like that. Um... Hmm. Alright, I don't like the way it hangs off there, so. We'll just go back to this. So these are going to be my green lights. And uh, it's going to be a little bit of a... Kind of slow, because... Um, I don't know what to call this. Um... Well, I'm going to call it uh, G1 for grinder, Mark 1. And then I'm just going to go and do, let's see here, starboard 0. Copy it all, and then go 2, because that's the first one I placed. And 1, because this is the one up front. So now... What I want to do is I'm going to drop this down and drop this down. Um, I'm going to make this 180. And then this one about 60. And the reason why I do that is because my time in the Air Force, the aircraft that I had worked on, um, the lenses for that particular, for the, for the uh, starboard side, were kind of a blue green. They weren't actually green. They were blue green. Um, so I just like putting a little, little bit of blue in there, just to be kind of, you know, different, maybe. Seven point five. That looks good. Intensity. So yeah, you know what? Let's do two point five. And then the fall off will do one. <clears throat> so I'm going to go out here and I'm going to finish them off. I'm 
trying to do the garage gamer thing here. I am. I'm talking and building at the same time and trying to I'm trying to get better at this because I am noticing that my time during in Outlands um, whenever it comes time for me to do any kind of like improv um, RP commentary dis uh, dialogue um, I kind of suck at it. <laughs> just to be perfectly honest, uh, because I don't normally I don't normally talk during I'm building these, and that's it's kind of hoping that the streaming stuff would help me out with that, and it has to to an extent because I try to interact with the chat and. Um, and for those who don't know, I, I, I make an effort, I try to... Didn't I adjust those? To be red? Er, er, er. Didn't I? Okay, what did I, what did I do? Position light P00. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Alright, so this, I'm just gonna make that 180, because I don't want it to be bright red, but I want it to be a dark red, because that's another thing. The, uh, the port lights, the port side lights, the port wing lights, position lights, were a dark. The lens was very dark. Of course, now the lights themselves, the light bulbs are very bright, but. Yes, there we go. So now we have our position lights. Yay! Um, so where was I? Mm. Yes. Um, doing the stuff I do for the streams on Sunday. Oh, that's right. Um, I try to... I try to be as regular as possible streaming on Sundays at... 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think that's uh, 4 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. G GMT. Yeah, yeah. So, if you want to come and see me live, you want to be bored, you want to get put to sleep, I'm there for you. Of course, it's a great time for you to be sarcastic, and, uh, you know, I take it all in good fun, because in reality, I'm a very sarcastic person at work, and uh, a lot of people, <laughs> some people don't know how to handle it, because a lot of people aren't that sarcastic, and uh, I try to be comical about it, just so that people don't get offended, because, well, that's something we got to worry about nowadays. Ah... Uh, so, let's see here. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I have kind of an idea that popped in my head. And we always want to build off the batteries because nothing ever happens to the batteries. There's never, ever a situation where the batteries will ever have a problem. <laughs> you know. Okay, wait a second. I got, I'm looking at the thrusters, but I have to take this into account as well. So we have another. Okay. So now if I do this. Okay. And then. Hmm. I want to do about something like this. <laughs> no, not that. Not that. No, no, not that either. So if I do something like that. And 
then I put a magnetic pad on the bottom. That might be satisfactory. I don't know if I like the way that, that sticks out like that, though. Hmm. What kind of threats do we have going on here? Okay. Just don't, I don't like the way that looks either. Hmm. Can work with this a little bit more. Looks like it flows in there more correctly. <laughs> I guess would be what I'm looking for. Okay, so then all right, so if I use this and put that like that and that. Keep watch on what's coming in. Hmm. All right, so if I do this and this. That would be kind of cool. I mean, there's no reason why I can't do that. Alright, well, I'm going to go with that. And then do the same kind of thing up here. So, after I start, after I finish those pads, I started thinking, what would it look like with these things here? So you know what? I'm gonna try them out. I really like the way they look, and depending on how they look when they're all lit up and stuff, will depend on if I keep them. They're like just perfect. L oh, I like that already. Oh yeah. That is so much prettier than the standard, like, lights. So, that would be good. I'll, I'll adjust those. That'll be good for uh, landing stuff. Oh, I need to put that, um, yep, yeah, need to put that remote control in place. I mean, that's kind of cool. 
I can go with that one. Is there a mirror to it? That is the mirror right there. Okay. All right. I can live with that. And then I can put some uh, spotlights on here. Um, burr, 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 burr. Let's go through all these rebel spotlights. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, okay. So I guess the other spotlights are still in here. There we go. So I will put that there. And then I will put this here. Oh, bulletproof glass. All right, so I'm going to run back out to the pad because that's where I'm trying to drain that one when I can. Okay, so I think now I'm going to go ahead and do some naming, so that's going to take me a little bit of time. We'll start with the thrusters. Okay, everything is mapped. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, what? I think uh, I forgot one thing. Turn those on off. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and get everything online here. Right now it's got a quite a bit of ice in it. So this will be kind of a test to see if it will actually float. But I also need to want to get it on it. Okay, so it is... Doesn't look like it's straining at all to keep it float. Gently. I think that's it. Okay. Looks smaller now. <laughs> All right, so... Um, I was thinking about putting another connector underneath there. We'll, we'll deal without it for right now. Um, oh, you know what? I could put... I might be able to put a ladder here so I can get up on top of it. Can I? Nope, it won't let me. Because something. Oh, the thruster. Is the thruster just barely in its way? Is that what it is? It's just crazy. Really, you know, I mean, if I jump onto this, and then I back up and I go, no, nope, that doesn't work either. Huh. Oh, well. Um, hmm, what else? How long will these guys charge for? Well, let's take a look. This is how much ice I have on board right now. And I just want the batteries to get charged up. Um, I could grind that away. Is it, uh, you know what? It's probably two blocks. It would be kind of tight. That would be about two blocks, because that's three, four, five, six, seven. That'd be really tight there, especially with that support. I want to make a special dock for it. And um, in, discuss in, in, in mentioning that, let's go for a walk outside. 
Now since Europa, as far as I know, is 100% snow and ice, um, that's probably going to be the main power source. And since uh, that one, one of the many Reaver attacks that happened, they destroyed the mining rig, I'd have to build another one. But as much as I don't want to build underground, um, it seems to be like the safer thing to do right now. And what a better place, since I already have this shaft bored out, just basically increase the size of it some. And then make it so that I have small hangers all the way down. Well, maybe not all the way down, but you know, different levels and so forth. Um, and then also turn this into the launch tunnel for a for a, for a probe to send it to Jupiter. Um, I think that's going to be the best thing to do. I need to go in here and I need to grind this stuff down. And if that ship that I just finished building will be able to handle essentially being vertical and grinding a lot of this down before I have to back out of it, um, that would be awesome. And uh, I can use that instead of trying to kind of half-ass it with my character in a jetpack. Or building another ship that's specifically for that. Um, these guys, it would be nice to move them down. Uh, we'll leave them up here. But it would be nice to move that kind of this kind of situation down that way. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um... I know not a whole lot happened, but then again, uh, a lot of little things in the background have occurred um, that have made this very long for me to do. Um, I think the base is relatively well protected. I won't know unless I finally have another attack, and uh, I'm not going to be too worried about that right now. Um, well, I prefer not for prefer prefer it not to happen. Oh, I, I crossed in the path of that. Um, I did fill this in, if you recall. This used to be a huge crater here, but uh, we're going to we're going to pretend that there was a large snowstorm and this just pocketed all kinds of snow and ice. Um, I just I was having a difficult time just looking at it while I was next to the bay, the uh, the hangar here, so. Anyway, I am going to um, go start, start editing this episode, and hopefully I will have it done for you in time for uh, Monday or Tuesday. Until then, bye-bye!